Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you what are execute SQL tasks in SSIS result set options. So today we will learn how to work with the result set options in execute SQL tasks in SSIS. So let's jump to the demo. I have two SQL Server instances, SQL Server 2017 instance and then SQL Server 2019 instance. So, and let me open the SSIS package. So this is my blank SSIS package and let me drag and drop the execute SQL task into the control flow window. So the execute SQL task is one of the most widely used task in SSIS. So this is normally used to execute a query on a SQL server. Although it can also be used to fetch data from other sources as well like from ODBC sources. Uh, for example, MySQL, Oracle, Excel, etc. But most of the time we run the SQL queries on the Microsoft SQL server. In case if you have any query like any insert, delete, update or select query, so you can run your query using the execute SQL task. In this particular task, what I will do, I will create a connection to these databases, to the SQL Server 2017 instance, to the work database and I will also make a connection to the SSIS database on the SQL Server 2019 instance and then I will show you how we can work with different types of result set options in SSIS execute SQL task. So let me just configure the execute SQL task and let me for example call it as create table. So first of all I will try to create a table and if I show you the options, result set options here. So let me make a connection to the 2017 work database. Okay. So under connection you need to select new connection and then you can click on new to create a new connection. And here we need to provide the SQL Server instance name. So let me just copy the SQL Server instance name from here. I can copy the name from here. It is 2019, but I will change it for 2017. So now it got changed to the SQL Server 2017 and I can just select the database from here. So my database name is work and I will click on test connection. So the test connection is successful. So I can click OK. OK. Now I can select this particular connection. Under SQL statement, we can write the query that we want to execute. So I have this particular query that it will check if TBL logs exist, then it will drop the table and then it will recreate the TBL logs. So I can just simply copy everything from here and I can paste it here. Click OK. Now from the result set options, there are four options actually. The first option is none. So if you just want to execute a query, for example, you want to create a table, you want to update some data, delete some data. So you can select the result set as none and it won't return any data. So in this case, I'm just going to use the none result set. And now I can click OK. So let me just show you that TBL underscore logs does not exist in the work database. So right now there is only one table, which is email. So as soon as I will execute my SSIS package, it will create a table TBL underscore logs. So let me execute my package. So the package executed successfully and let me go back to the SSMS and refresh the tables and I should have one more table here. So you can see now I have TBL underscore logs table as well. So this is how you can uh, use the result set none option. Now suppose I got a task that I need to select the oldest table from this particular database and want to insert the table name into the TBL logs then how I can do that using SSIS because I want to automate that task. The solution to this particular problem that I want to get the oldest table name from this particular database and want to insert the inf information of that table into the TBL logs. So what I can do that I can just write a select query and I can fetch the oldest table from this particular database and then I can assign that particular table name value to a SSIS variable using the single result set option and then using the insert query I can insert the data into the TBL logs. So that's the solution that I can think of. So we can write a select query here to get the oldest table from the this SSIS database. So I can write select star from sys dot sys objects where type equal to u. So this particular query will actually return all the table from this particular database. So uh, this is the table name in the name column and this is the create date. So if I sort the data order by CR date DESC. So the oldest table will come at the top. 
सी आर डेट और राइट सो दिस डीएनसी फ्लैग दिस इज द ओल्डेस्ट टेबल विच वॉज क्रिएटेड इन टेंथ जनवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी दिस इज एक्चुअली द मोस्ट रिसेंट टेबल सो वी नीड टू राइट ए एस सी इधर वी कैन राइट ए एस सी और वी कैन जस्ट रिमूव इट एंड नाउ लेट मी जस्ट रीड ऑन द क्वेरी अगेन सो दिस इज द ओल्डेस्ट टेबल कॉन्फिक टेबल विच वॉज क्रिएटेड इन थर्टीथ जून ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ओके सो नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू फैच दिस टेबल इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम हेयर सो आई कैन राइट टॉप वन नेम एंड आई कैन एग्जीक्यूट द क्वेरी सो दिस इज द ओल्डेस्ट टेबल इन द डेटा बेस सो आई कैन जस्ट कॉपी दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेरी फ्रॉम हेयर एंड नाउ आई कैन मॉडिफाई इट and i can paste the query here okay okay and now let me create an ssis variable here and i will call it as table name and the data type will be a string all right and uh, now let me just configure the this particular task so from the result set so this particular query will return one value and from the result set we can select the single row so using the single row it will assign this value the table name to the result set to the ssis variable whichever ssis variable we will define in the result set so now after selecting the single row from here we will click on result set and then we need to click on add and under result set name we can give zero and we need to select the variable so because this is the only variable so that's why it has taken this one otherwise you can just select the appropriate ssis variable from here now you can click okay so this has selected the variable value now because we want to insert the data into another table on another server so we will be using an execute sql task insert table name and then we can configure the execute sql task for the sql server 2017 instance for for this particular instance okay so all right so the connection is already there okay so i need to write the insert statement here insert into tbl logs values id is an identity so we don't need to provide any value for it our package name is package dot dtsx and uh, yeah table name will come here so we will assign the value from an ssis variable and date it will be get date so yeah so that will be the insert query so i can copy the insert query from here and then i i can go to the expressions expressions and i can need to select sql statement source from here i can maximize this i need to put a double quote paste the query and the double quote and i will share this insert query with you so that you can use it in your environment if you want and now instead of table name we will put double quote space plus plus double quote and then we can just drag and drop the ssis variable name to this location you can click on evaluate expression so this seems good here you can click okay 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 so from this particular task it will select the oldest table name from the ssis database from sql server 2019 instance and then in this particular location it will insert the value to a 2017 instance to the work database in the tbl log so at the moment tbl log should be empty all right what i think i need to make a connection to the ssis database on the sql server to the 19 instance so i need to make a connection here because right now it is pointing to the 2017 instance so let me create a new connection here and uh, i can copy the sql server to the 19 instance name from here i can paste it here now from the databases i can select the ssis database click okay 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 so let me execute the ssis package now so the package ran fine and now it should have inserted the oldest table name value which is config table to this particular table so you can see that the package name is this one package dot ttsx and the step is this is the oldest month of table config table okay so this is how you can use a single result set so this was one of the scenario now suppose i want to insert the name of all tables from this database whatever tables are there all table names plus their create date okay so the table name plus their create date into this particular table so how i can do that so this particular ssis package is just to get the oldest 
table from the database and insert the name into another server now what i want is i want to get all table names plus their create date as well and want to insert the value into the same table okay so how i can do that so for this particular case i need to use the full result set so if you stop the execution of the package and if you go to the result set option so there is one more option here full result set so we need to use the full result set now okay so let me just declare an ssis variable and the thing is full result set you need to use the object type because full result set cannot be stored in a string variable so we need to select the object type from here obg table yeah, okay and what we will do we will use the for each loop container then because we will fetch all the data all the rows into the object variable and then we will loop through all the values one by one okay so first of all let me just create the query here so i need to just remove the order order by and let me just remove the top one from here so this is the name of all the tables 37 tables and uh, i want to concatenate the create date so what i can write is table plus plus was created on plus okay all right we need to type cast it to a string because it's a date time value as where care maybe 50 all right so table addresses was created on july 11 this one table email info was created on this one so i think so this seems good here this value will be inserted to the uh, this particular table tbl logs so let me copy this query from here and i can paste it inside the select query all right and then instead of single row we will select the full result set and now is under result set we will select the obj variable so this is the object type variable this will store the all rows okay and now because we want to loop through all the rows so we will be using a for each loop container so we can just drag and drop the for each loop container into the control flow window and we can connect the create table with the for each loop container and then we can just configure the for each loop container here under collection we need to select for each loop ADO enumerator and under ADO object source variable we will select the object variable now under variable mapping we will select the table name because for each iteration it will select one value and will assign that value to the table name exercise variable now i can click ok and then we can just drag and drop the insert table execute sql task into the for each loop container so i think this is configured now and let me just execute the exercise package so the exercise package ran fine and let me go back to the ssms and just try to fetch data from the tbl logs so now you can see that that the package ran fine again and it has inserted the values that we wanted like table addresses was created on this one table info was created on this one like this for all the tables so using the full results that we can actually store a lot of records i mean multiple records into the object variable and then we can just loop through all the values one by one however using the single row we can just select one row and we can assign just one row to a string variable or maybe integer variable or whatever type of variable it is the last one the fourth one is the xml which is actually used to store the data in the xml format and frankly speaking i have never used this particular result set xml one so far i have used only this one none single row and full result set so i think that's it for today's video Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button, do subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.